Hello guys, welcome to the first video tutorial on C Sharp for beginners. Now, some of you, if you are following me on my channel, you already know I have already created a playlist on C Sharp. But that I started it with uh, the intermediate level. So I have uh, started it with directly connection with the MySQL database and how to work with MySQL. Now, in, with this series, I want to uh, teach you the basics of C Sharp. So this is uh, the series for the beginners level. So from this this video, we are going to learn how we can download Visual Studio C Sharp Express and how to write our first uh, code in C Sharp. So let's get started. To download Visual Studio Express Edition, it's free by the way. You just need to go to the Google search and just write Visual Studio Express and you will be presented with the, some of the options and the first option will be from www.visualstudio.com and just click this option from here and in here you can see there are some products from uh, Visual Studio Ex Express the Express editions are free and you can use them for the study purpose not for commercial purpose so you can download them you can so whenever when you are in this uh, visual studio website you need to go to the downloads here and in here you have some version for c sharp okay so what version version we are looking for is this visual studio express right now uh, the latest version is 2013 and we are building it or we want uh, the windows desktop edition and it includes c sharp visual basic and c++ support okay so when you need to install this you can click this install button and you may need to register to this uh, microsoft website or you may need to have uh, the microsoft account in order to install this uh, uh, C Sharp or this Windows Desktop Express Edition. So once you have done that, it's fairly easy to install uh, this Visual Studio Express on your system. So once you have done that, uh, Visual Studio will be installed in your system, and you just need to go to Start, and you can either search Visual Studio and you will see here c sharp visual studio c sharp express edition will be here so just click this and open it now this will present you this uh, kind of window and here you can create a new project so let's create a new project i will go to this file or you can just click this button to create a new project but i will go to the file new project and in here you have different options uh, for creating uh, C sharp projects. So the most popular is this Windows Form application, which I have shown you in my earlier playlist for C sharp. But right now, for the beginners level, we will start from this console application to see the basics. Now, here you can give the name of your project. So, for example, I will give the name of my project as my project and notice that I have started the name of my project with capital letter and then uh, the other letters of the word are in small letters and when you add some new words it will come with a capital letter and other letters are small letters. So it's like a camel uh, pattern here, right? And just start with, always start with the capital letter and click OK. And this will give you this uh, program. It already gives you this uh, bare bone project or the, this code for uh, uh, running, but we are not going to use it. And one more important thing, if you want to increase the font size of the this code, 
uh, you can go to here which is by default 100% and you can choose or you can increase the font size by going here or otherwise just press control and scroll your mouse and then it will increase the size like this so I'm scrolling my mouse by uh, pressing control button and now the font size is increased now we have this uh, project here and it has some property files some references and the file which contains this code is called program.cs which uh, uh, the visual studio has created for us so for now i will delete this because we uh, want to create our own class so i will delete this file and i will say delete it permanently okay and it will be deleted so we are now starting with a new class now for that i can create first of all a folder in which i want to save my class so i will just go to my project and i will right click and i will say add new folder and i will add a new folder called examples right and in this example folder just cl click this example folder and once again right click it and we will add a class to this folder so we will say add class and we will choose this class from here and we will choose a name for our class so let's uh, say our class name is example 1 notice that i have once again i have started uh, the class name with a capital letter and the second word uh, i have also started with a capital letter and other are small letters so i will add this class to my project and now this class is added to my project i will increase the font once again so you can see so now we have created a class for us and just remember that in order to write a c sharp code you need to have a class we will discuss this class in detail in the next videos but just remember this and whenever you create this class you will already have or visual studio will already include these uh, files in your in your uh, program or in your code and these things at the top which uh, starting which are starting with using this is called namespaces and what is a namespaces namespaces is a collection of uh, classes and other codes like delegates or namespaces can also contain other namespaces and the na main namespace of c sharp is this system namespace so let's make it uh, minimal code so that we can understand it so this is a namespace and na what is a namespace namespace is a collection of classes delegates and other namespaces and other enums or other things right and this namespace will help us to write our code now this project which with or this folder which we have created is also a namespace and whatever class we will write inside this will be the class under this namespace so this system is a namespace like this okay now to write a, a code inside your namespace or write first code what you need to do is go inside your class and you need to write here static void main and just give give this two uh, brackets and this curly braces right here so whenever you write this static void main and your function will start and close with this so this is called a function and function whenever you create a function it has some return type it has some uh, bracket like this or uh, uh, 
this kind of square or not a square but a bracket and this kind of curly braces and this brackets can take arguments but right now we are not giving it and we can return value in a function or, or a method which will we will see later and whenever you write main this will be the entry point of your c sharp program so this is a special function in c sharp as you have seen in other uh, languages also the main is uh, the main entry point of your program and notice that this main starts from a capital letter now in order to uh, print something on the console what we can do is we can use a class called console so you can see when i hover over this uh, console here it says class System dot console. So this class console is a part of namespace system. So I will use this and dot just write dot write and in the bracket and give this semicolon here. And inside this bracket we we will give these two double quotes and in here we can write our message. So I can write Welcome to this tutorial. Okay, so what will this console write will do is it will print this message on your console. So let's try to run this program. So to in order to run your program, you can just click this button. But whenever you click this button, your screen will appear and disappear because uh, there is no uh, not no code to stop this program from exiting so let's uh, press this button first and you see screen comes and goes and there is nothing to stop this screen because we haven't uh, provided any key uh, entry or anything to stop our project program so what you can do is either you can uh, uh, run your program by pressing control f5 so just remember run your program with control f5 which i'm doing right now and now you can see your console and it will wait for your key press event to exit so you can see our message is printed here welcome to this tutorial okay and then it shows that press any key to continue otherwise if you want to press this button what you can do is you there is a uh, code called console dot read key which will wait for the key to be pressed right and now when I run this program you can see the message welcome to the tutorial and when I press some key it will be exited so this is the basic uh, program we have written in C sharp in the next videos I will be uh, explaining you some more stuff related to beginners C sharp so stay tuned and please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now